Hello, this is JF Giraud and this week we're continuing our presentations on using blockchains for project management, configuration management and product lifecycle management. So in the last video that I presented earlier, I'm going to put a link in the description for the last video and for this presentation as well. We showed how we could use a Google spreadsheet uh, for the uh, configuration management, uh, sorry, the uh, change control and configuration management for the compliance of drones operated in, uh, in Canada. Those are drones that are more than 250 grams. Now, this works and it's, uh, it is a blockchain. It is a, an immutable database. And if that's what we, we require, you can do that. But if you recall in my other video where we discuss how uh, you should, how to ch choose between uh, what system to use, emails, text, spreadsheet, database, or configuration management uh, we uh, we discussed that for certain application databases are much better and the reason is that uh, database are really information management system whereas uh, a spreadsheet are more for the management of uh, numbers uh, calculation and you know, macros and things like that so the, there, there's definitely advantages to using a database system. It's, it's better if you want your system to be distributed, and it's also better if you want to, uh, if you have several users that need different uh, settings for their, for their uh, security settings. Okay, so um, some acronyms that we're going to be using CMS configuration management system, DB database, PLM product lifecycle management, PM product project management, VCS version control system. So if you want to see the previous vi video, which was a spreadsheet that was used as a blockchain, which is centralized, the spreadsheet itself is in the cloud. Uh, it is version controlled. Several people can uh, change it, but it's not uh, distributed and that uh, you cannot have peer-to-peer -peer synchronization of the of the changes that are made. You, anybody needs to be connected to the cloud or Google or Azure or whatever system that they're using. So in this system, you don't need that. You don't need a third party. You don't need anybody. You can just have your database and uh, do your synchronization peer-to-peer -peer as you see fit. So, um, I'm not going to read all this, you can verify it yourself, but uh, the, you know, there's advantages uh, to each system. If, if, if your system becomes more complex, definitely a database is better. You can see the video I made on this with the flowchart in uh, helping you to decide what is best for you. So version control. Um, I've put here some links to the Wikipedia for version control. You can uh, look it up. It's basically a system when you have uh, many people making many changes over time on uh, on the software or product. You know, it could be an airplane, a car, anything that you're designing. It's uh, it, it can become a chaos and very difficult to manage if you have many people developing at the same time, and uh, so uh, it's uh, that's what version control configuration management do. So you, if you need more information, you can always go to the Wikipedia page. It's very well explained, and. Uh, so there's different systems that are used. The most common is probably Git, which was developed by Linus Torvald. Uh, it's very good for uh, the development of uh, Linux, but it's also very complicated, in my opinion, and uh, and uh, for like simple, basic, just product lifecycle management, you may be better off with a simpler system like uh, Mercurial. There's like, this is the Wikipedia page that gives you like all the different uh, 
version control system software, there's proprietary, open source, uh, free, there's different things. The system that I'm using and that uh, that we're going to be using today is Fossil. Fossil is was developed by Richard Hip. He's the person who also developed uh, SQLite, which is the most used database in the world. Uh, it's uh, probably one of the top two or three software used in the world uh, uh, as well. Uh, it's like there's billion of of of, of uh, databases in the world that are SQL light you know like your TV your smartphone your Windows 10 everybody uses it it's like very very well known so that's, that's one of the reasons why I like fossil fossil it's uh, it's very very well tested and it just works and it's simple and also it's just one file so you don't need to install anything and it's very portable you can put uh, your databases and all your change control in a simple file directory uh, even in the in a usb drive if you want so that's the system that we're going to be using fossil um, why version control well I, as i mentioned earlier once you start having many changes by many people over time sometimes you need to be able to prove what was changed and why maybe you need to go back to a previous configuration or maybe you need to prove that your changes are controlled uh, sometimes the authorities the regulators are going to want to see that if you're a professional or you need to show traceability you know maybe for counterfeit prevention those are the systems that are used for for uh, controlling that. So also Transport Canada, DFA, DSA, uh, all international quality management system like ISO 9001 and AS9100, they all have requirement to have in place configuration management. So for example, for ISO 9001, this is the requirement. So basically it just says that you need to have a system in place. So uh, Fossil, is chosen again because it's simple easy to manage safe durable and uh, the system that i'm going to be showing here is uh, fossil and this is a database that i created to show compliance to transport canada to the uh, the requirement for the management of operation of drones the the operator the pilot the the records for requirement for uh, maintenance and etc so what you do is like I said it's uh, very simple just download the file create a folder put it in there preferably it should be in your path if it's not you're going to have to specify the the complete um, directory uh, and then in the in in the directory where you have fossil you just create a new directory for your database in this case here it's like our database for drone operation so uh, in DOS you just create like a make there make there and then and don't worry you know like these details I'm going to show or a little bit later the the process with uh, with screenshots so you then uh, initiate the database you create this is the database that's going to control and you know all the changes uh, all the differences between the, uh, the 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 files so you uh, first of all you initiate with this command and then when that uh, database has been created you open the database and then you create some files that's going to go in that database and then you change the file and all the changes are going to be controlled in fossil and uh, save so that you can go back in a time and see the changes and this is a blockchain because all of those changes are encrypted with a hash function it can be sha1 or sha3 which is you know much much more secure than uh, sha1 and then uh, and that's it you know you make your changes you commit them to database and then everything is traceable and compliant and then the one of the nice thing about fossil is that it's got a really nice user interface which is just a menu in your your browser so once you open your preferred browser it, the system just 
opens in your browser and you can see all of the tools the the traces the differences and the and you know, who changed what and it's all documented in, in there and then you just repeat those steps so that you have a full traceability so this is a screenshot of what a fossil database looks like when when you start uh, making changes so you see this is your like I've saved this in E because this is a a USB so, sorry I was just looking at uh, at my uh, video if, if it was saving and uh, so this is your your you know where your database is saved and those are the operation that you do to create your directory and and you know issue all the comments the comments initi initiate like I've put a couple here because you should use the latest revision if you use the latest revision make sure that you use the open dash f command so this is just like a new security that they've put so that you don't discard the uh, information in your uh, once you start synchronizing with uh, files over the internet and then you you add the file that you want to be version controlled you make your changes in the file and then when you finish with your changes you you save the document and then you do a commit that's going to add the new version to the database and then to see what it looks like you just fossil ui which stands for user interface and that comment is going to open the database in your uh, browser so this is the file that i'm controlling in version control it's just like a list of the requirements for for a drone operation from transport canada so that's my first version and then once once I'm, i finish i save this i commit it to fossil and then uh, open the ui with the commanded fossil ui and then it's going to open this file in the browser and it just shows me like the first initial and then the first commit and you see there is nothing defined so what you need to do is you go in the home from there there is a config setup so that you can define information about you know populate your database give it more information so here i just put the title so that's going to change unnamed fossil project to drone operation management system and i make all the changes security and things like that and then you just go apply changes and then you see your changes are there and then from there you can use the different function you can see the the traceability the version control is here you, and then you can go back make some more changes so here what i did is i i uh, added the requirement 91.48 and then i just committed the, the changes to the uh, the text file in the database and then you see you have this added requirement 91.48 so that was done by me in the main branch and this uh, this here this is the hash function that encrypts the the changes so that you can always go back and make sure that all the changes were legitimate this is your blockchain in a way and uh, and that's it and then your operation management system then you've got like different menu where you can have like forums and tickets and wikis and things like that so this is like if you click here you see this is my initial file like the the, the first time that i ad added information if you go to the last three this this one here then you see like i've added this requirement and i've also got the cut and paste of the 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 rest so that you know i can populate it later and then yep that's it you have like the different function everything is in there there's no need for a separate uh, graphical user interface because you do everything in your in your browser so that's it thank you very much for listening i hope you enjoyed uh, this and uh, see you later this is jeff signing off